All right, so I'm making ricotta spinach raviolis um, with some uh, marinara sauce. I have a rustic Italian baby bowl piece of bread. I'm going to make garlic bread with this. And then I got a Parmigiano Reggiano chub of cheese. You're going to need some salt, garlic salt, and warm, like, room temperature butter. Right now, I have the water on the stove getting ready to boil. I'm going to throw this in. I'm going to preheat my stove to, uh, let's do 350. Uh, and I'm going to start garlicking the butter or putting garlic and butter onto the rustic bread and show you what that's looking like. So I am going to cut this bread in half. And of course you could do it however you want. You could just toast it, butter it, but I'm doing it like this. And then I'm gonna put this on here, this on here, and then I'm gonna put butter. I'm gonna put some butter. This makes really good croutons. And I just put garlic salt right on top. And that is that. I just popped it in the oven because the pasta only takes about five minutes to cook. And now I'm going to, I'm gonna grate all of this because it's great in your fridge just um, in a little container and you could have it fresh whenever you need it and make sure when you buy the sauce um, good thing I uh, checked the sauce yes or last night but I popped it open and it didn't go hopefully this one will okay if it doesn't pop like that that's not good I had to get a new one of these so Popped it, now it's good. And I'm gonna grade this cheese. And I use the little side, but you could do whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. You could do the big grate, little side. You could throw this in your food processor and it grades it really nice. But we, I got this um, Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I don't really ever buy this chub, but it was on a good sale at my work. So I got it and it makes such good cheese for salads, for pasta, for whatever. I'm going to finish grating this. Alright, I just finished the cheese and now the water has come to a boil. I am going to throw the pasta in here. Let's see my foot. So this one is the ricotta spinach ravioli organic. It says bring two quarts of water to a boil, add desired amount of frozen ravioli, cook four to five minutes, stirring occasionally to prevent the ravioli from sticking together. Drain and serve and serve with sauce. But I'm gonna do the whole bag and toss them in. Be careful because the water is really hot. So I'm going to let this uh, boil for five minutes. So I just finished grating the Parmesan Reggiano. I got a whole container and then I have this that I'm gonna use for the pasta, like the top of the sauce. 
And I'm just checking on the noodles. And they have three minutes left. So usually when you could tell the noodles, like when you get pasta that's full of like cheese or chicken or mozzarella or whatever, when it starts floating is when you kind of know it's done. Um, I'm going to stop it now. It has like a couple seconds left, but I'm going to drain it, save at least a third of a cup of water and I'll show you why. So I just drained the pasta. So I just drained the pasta and now I'm going to put the sauce. And you could turn the stove back on and put it on low or medium or whatever you want to do. I'm going to put a little bit of the water that I saved from the um, noodles. And I put it right into the jar and I shake it up and you get some more pasta sauce. And I just took the to, um the bread out of the oven. Now look at it. It's nice and crunchy and it's ready to go. So that's the way the pasta looks. I put the cheese, Parmesan Reggiano on top and then there's the bread.